and welcome to this special Adobe Workshop request show where I've taken on the request of a Mr. Big Russ who sent me the following email. Dear Julian, my name is Mr. Big Russ. You may know me from a small channel I run called 2009 Eclipse where I play and review games as well as nab your tutorials. Recently I have come across another tutorial I wish to nab but I cannot figure out step 6. Is it possible for you to help me figure this out so I can put it on my website? Kind regards, Mr. Big Russ. And in all honesty, it's a very good YouTube channel that Mr. Big Russ runs called 2009 Eclipse or Mr. Big Russ 666. Uh, you can go there to view what game walkthroughs, tutorials, and also reviews of the latest games. So check out these links and go there and visit them. Well, certainly can help you there, Mr. Big Russ. And this is the tutorial that he sent me and that he's got a problem with. And if you want to have a look at it, it can be located at this following address here, which I'll put in a large print across the tutorial now. And it doesn't seem that just Mr. Big Russ has been having an issue with this as well. Uh, lots of people down at the bottom here have also been having problems with step six. Um, they can't get the stroke path to work on this. So we're going to work our way through this tutorial and um, see what we can do to help Mr. Big Russ here, okay? So, let's have a look at it. By the way, this tutorial was uh, done by Siva Kumar, okay, and it's quite a nice tutorial on some graphic effects that um, show you some nice text design and use layers and gradients and Photoshop brushes, as he says at the beginning of his tutorial. And this is what we're going to be making. So we're going to be making this sort of like kind of trendy FX, flashy, sort of starry, wipey, sort of computerized digital thing, okay. Um, but it's quite popular and you see it in lots of magazines at the moment and if you can learn how to use this in After Effects as well then you'll be creating some fantastic motion titles. So let's have a go at this tutorial then. So step one, create the new document. Now he's creating a new document here so if we just want to go ahead and start Photoshop CS4. Right now it's recommended by Siva that you um, create a document that's 1440 by 900. So we're going to create a document that's 1440 by 900. By 900 and we'll keep the resolution at 72 which is suitable for web and also television. So there we go and also that the um, background is black so I'm just going to get the paint bucket tool make sure that black is your foreground color here and just click and there we go we've got a black uh, background there right next step is to choose the text now the text if you're working on some of your computers you might not have the font that he used in the tutorial I'll just bring it over here a sec so you can have a look at the one he used so it's quite a um, space age font um, quite sharp. So let's try and find a similar font. He uses Habarba, but um, I'm not sure I have that. And if you're working at our college, Weymouth College, uh, you might not have that installed either. So let's have a look for some suitable ones. Now, my one on my home will be quite different for you. So I want you to spend five minutes now and find a nice font um, that's of appropriate large size. So let's have a look. Well, 72 is not going to do it there for me. I'm going to crank mine up to 300. Let's see if that's a bit too much. Even more, maybe. So 350. Turn it to white by clicking on the color up the top. This dialog box will come up. And there we go. And I'm just going to type the FX into it. In fact, actually, I think Ariel's looking pretty good for me already, actually. Um, I'll have a search around, and I want you to do the same and spend five minutes, pause this tutorial, try and get it to a good size and see what you come up with. Okay, I've gone through a few fonts and to be honest they're all pretty rubbish. This is the one I've come up with, it's Consolus and I'm using a 500 point here. I'm actually gonna, I've got it on bold down here but I'm actually gonna increase it to having almost like a double bold on it so 
it's bold and bold again and you can do that just by accessing it here from the character okay right let me just dock that again and let's continue right so the next step is to rasterize the text now rasterizing text means you're going to turn it from a vector image which you can enlarge to any size to a bitmap image which you can apply more effects to but if you enlarge it it'll become pixelated and to do that we go to our layers window I right click in this blue area over here on the right layer and choose rasterize type and then it's now become bitmap image and if I press control T you can see it starts to get jagged edges so you can't enlarge it anymore unless you want jagged edges that is okay step four step four in the tutorial is the adding satin styles now this is quite easy to do you choose your layer over here and I double click left click on the side of it over here and up will pop this dialog window with the layer styles and what you want to do is click on satin so I've applied it now this hasn't turned to the satin options yet if you click where it says satin you get the actual options for it as well so I've applied satin I'm now looking at the options and I want multiply 100 percent an angle of 143 ish I'm not too worried and a distance of 3 if it gets fiddling like that you can just go over to where it says pixels and type a 3 in and a size of 3 and OK that and you should end up with something that looks a little like this quite a cool effect actually already the next step is adding the bevel and boss so I'm going to go to the effects window again and double left click bring it up and I'm going to choose bevel emboss and I'm going to click where it says bevel emboss to bring up its options and you want an inner bevel smooth a depth of 100 which is already there direction up a size of 250 and a soften of 7 then down here in the shading you want an angle of 132 an altitude of 26 the highlight mode to be normal and the highlight color and this is quite you have to get this just accurate is 9 a1 A8 2 and that gives us this purple color okay that down here to the shadow mode and we want that to be normal I click on the color again here and the shadow color now is C5 DF27 which gives this sort of like yellowy lime greeny type let me press OK there and the opacity is 27 let's OK that so we've got this kind of look going along now okay it's quite funky 